Hello and welcome to another Retro Garage vlog. My name is Aaron and we are just on our way down to Cork at the moment, hopefully to meet up with Wayne McCarthy of Edgewood Automotive, who's working on putting together his location for uh, car enthusiasts in Cork. Essentially, he is a classic and specialist car dealer. He's essentially the only Morgan dealer in Ireland as well, which is incredibly cool. And he's just an out and out petrol head. And while I haven't had the chance to call down to the actual showroom myself yet, I'm really excited to see what's there because the last pictures I saw, there was two RS2s there. There was an NSX. I think one of the RS2s belonged to a friend of ours. And I feel one of the big issues that we always see in like the car space in Ireland is the fact that I feel like the general public doesn't really get the opportunity or the chance to kind of see some of these like old school, really incredible cars up close and personal, unless it's at the likes of a show or something like that. So it's nice to be able to have a spot where people can just pass by and maybe there's a Lotus Carlton there, maybe there is an RS2. It's nice that members of the general public, people, their kids can start having a look at these kind of cars up close and personal and without needing to be a show. And it can be a weekdays and some people just generally don't like shows or don't attend shows because they're just not that into them I think it's brilliant and now that he's opening the cafe side of things as well it'll be really interesting to see what it does for kind of the you know the car community in Cork and whether it helps to bring it up to another level so much more than my share yeah. the addition of this bypass around McCroom has been the best thing ever it just makes the journey from Killarney to Cork that much easier In years to come, I'll probably look back at this video and be like, oh, what was the big fuss? But it used to be so annoying to get to Cork sometimes, especially if you get stuck behind trucks and stuff, because you're stuck with it the whole way down to Cork, whereas now you can just overtake it at your ease doing 100. So we've landed at the main location for Edgewood Automotive here down in Cork. We're already greeted by a stunning Mercedes 500E as well as a GR Yaris. And usually I only ever see GR Yaris's in either black or white, so it's really interesting to see that. As we swing around then into the showroom, we have a Porsche 911 GT3, Honda NSX, and this GT3 is just stunning. Wayne had it before and he ended up selling it, but it's back, it's back with him again. Then this Honda NSX is just immaculate but of course this is what i'm drawn to we'll get back to the ferrari and the mercedes in a second and this is what i'm drawn to the audi rs2 i love the spec of this especially in silver especially without the roof rails which i never thought i'd actually like it without the roof rails i always thought they look kind of empty without it but this thing is just stunning and it's really making me think of whether i should turn my audi 80 avant into an rs2 tribute because um, the look of this is just gorgeous. And honestly, my favorite part about any RS2 heck blender. I am a sucker when it comes to heck blenders. The RS2 and the 993 and the 964 are just, the heck blender on the back and really just makes them. And then of course the Porsche 964 style wheels, as well as the Porsche brakes and the Porsche style uh, wing mirror. Then over here we have one of the new Morgans because Edgewood Automotive is also the dealer for Morgan in Ireland. These are a car I'd love to actually get a chance to drive someday because there's just something that fascinates me, something very different about these. Very classical styling, but they're powered by, I'm pretty sure it's a modern BMW turbo engine inside in them, but they still retain a lot of classic styling. Obviously over the years, they've just been kind of refined and refined and refined, and this is kind of the pinnacle of that. And you can see just how nice the interior is inside there. And obviously with the love for heck blenders, we have another heck blender here on the back of the NSX. We have a Mercedes 500 SL in this gorgeous red. There's a part of me that would love to have something like this one day, but I just don't know where that kind of fits in my lineup. And just have something like this 500SL or maybe even the 500E outside to just waft around in. And then this Ferrari, which just looks stunning. I think it's a four-seater as well. Yeah, it's a four-seater. Sorry, just look at where the gear stick is as well. Right? Yeah, this thing. Is just insanely cool but i keep getting drawn back to this audi rs2 if you've been following the channel or retro garage for a long time you obviously know how much my heart sings for audi and especially those five cylinder turbo models so hopefully one day we can do a video with either this rs2 or another rs2 and show you what they're really like and then we have this stunning mercedes 500e and if you don't know the story behind the mercedes 500e it was essentially developed by porsche and i think assembled in their plant in suffenhausen as well because of the wider arches that you can kind of see it would have been too wide to build in the factory for the normal Mercedes W124. And Wayne's just about to start the RS2. Uh, 
So we've landed and we're looking at some of the cars here. We have a Mercedes-Benz 500E. We saw this on the street a couple of months ago when we were doing the toy drive when we called by. Mercedes 190E Cosworth. This thing is absolutely fabulous. I think it has like 30,000 miles down on it. Mercedes SL. Morgan because Edgewood Automotive is the dealer for Morgan as well for Ireland. And we have a Morgan Roadster here as well. And honestly, the selection of cars both here but also in the other side of the showroom is absolutely fabulous. 